Dr. Peter Dwyer and I was born in around that section of Kingston a year after the trolley stopped running. But uh, some of the places were still in place and I'm going to take you on an imaginary trolley ride now up to West Chestnut Street, which is the street I grew up on. And then later on, we'll take a, a walk down to the waterfront and then an open trolley down to Kingston Point when it was still an amusement park. The taller man on the left is John D. Schoemaker, who was a prominent boat builder and round out man, and also resided on West Chestnut Street. The shorter man is my own grandfather, James F. Dwyer, who was a boat builder, brick manufacturer, and banker, and also resided on West Chestnut Street. The gentleman closest to us is, with the white Van Dyke is S.D. Kirkendall, and the man with the darker beard is Governor Hughes. This picture was taken in 1908. And it was taken at the time that uh, Governor George Clinton's body was returned to Kingston. This house was built by uh, Robert Dwyer prior to going to uh, West Chesson Street. That large portico was... ...forty foot long, and take a tree and turn it into a piece of timber. Here's another shot. Uh, this hopper here, drew sawdust uh, off all of the, of the power sores that were in the mill. This is another shot uh, of construction. That covered barge there is a lighter. This became a, a big civil event, a well, you, social well, you event? Had, uh, you had a party afterwards. Uh, when did, did this generally take place, on a weekend or did it? No, no, it was on, on high tide. High tide, uh -huh. <laughs> In fact, those bigger ones, we had a launch at middle tide. They were so big that they, they would have hit the dock so badly. So normally I like to launch at high tide, but some of these bigger ones were done at middle tide. And it was done as soon as possible because you couldn't get paid till it was in the water. Uh -huh. And if you built the bottle of, we didn't really use champagne. We kept the champagne aside, put the Canada dry in the, uh -huh. in, in the knit stocking. And these were christened by various members of the family. And there she goes. Cape Mahoney, yeah, the Tracy boats were all named Cape this, Cape that. All right, this is the last barge that was launched. And it, this was 1946, that's the John H. Dwyer. It was named for my uncle returning from World War II. Last new construction there. That's John H. Dwyer walking in there. There's some people from New York. John Dwyer was 43 in 1943 when he went into service, so he was 46 coming back. Mm -hmm. 
he served in Iceland, England, and uh, he went in on D-Day 2. And then he was in the Port of La Havre after they got the beach settled down. Were any of the boats made here uh, used? Okay, let's take a look now. What do we have here? Well, that's the James F. Dwyer tugboat, which was originally built uh, as a steam tug in about 1904. This is 1941, when it was out. Uh, the man there is, uh, is uh, Mr. William Dwyer. That's my brother, Jim Dwyer, who was later president of the Roundhead National Bank here. Uh, can't identify that fella. We're just on a cruise. That's my late father, J James A. Dwyer. That's Edwin O'Reilly. That's myself, your host. 